Welcome back to another episode of Barmwasser TV. Today I'm going to talk to you about a very simple cocktail, the whiskey sour. And I'm going to show you some tips and tricks why we think our whiskey sour at the Barmwasser is very tasteful. So for this drink you need three ingredients. First of all, a nice little bourbon. Today we're taking the bullet bourbon. Uh, on this occasion I would like to thank Diageo for being sponsor of this great little video. Then we have simple syrup. So simple syrup is very simple. You take one kilo of sugar, one liter of water, bring it to a little simmer, let it cool down, and that's how we do our simple syrup at the Barmwasa. And then what we also use is fresh lemon juice. It's very essential to use fresh lemon juice. And then, this is a little trick of mine, we squeeze the lemon juice in the morning and we leave it outside at room temperature for about four hours. In that time, the uh, lemon uh, juice will oxidate and will lose in bitterness. So the sourness of the lemon juice will just come forward and give that nice soury touch to a whiskey sour. As a little garnish, or it's not really a garnish, it's more kind of an ingredient because a cherry is essential to a sour, in my opinion. At the end, after you finish a sour drink, just to have this little sweet uh, whiskey soaked cherry is just perfect to finish off your drink. So I will start the drink by mixing these three drinks together and it is very important to keep the specs correct on this drink. It's a sour, so you need to have the sweetness and sour uh, mix correct, so the complexity and the flavor of the drink is perfect. So what we do is we take a nice measure of bourbon. So we take five centiliters of bourbon, just add that into the shaker. Then we take simple syrup. Now this is very important, two centiliters of simple syrup. There we go. And then the fresh lemon juice, oxidated. And this is two and a half centiliters. Okay, very important. Two and a half centiliters of lemon juice, two centiliters of sugar syrup. Now, you can uh, add some egg whites if you like. I personally don't really like egg white in my whiskey sour, so I'm not gonna do it without. So which means I'm just gonna take some ice, nice big ice chunks, not too small. I don't want too much dilution in the drink, I just literally want to cool it down. Give that a nice little shake. As mentioned by my colleagues in the previous videos, you can use anything from a mason jar to your protein shakers. A salad shaker, a salad sauce shaker, you can use those. We use our professional cocktail shakers. There we go, give that a nice little shake, about 20 seconds. There we go, open that up. Mmm, smells delicious already. Then what you want to do, if you like, you can just add a few more ice cubes into your tumbler. You can also serve a whiskey sour straight up with no ice, that's literally up to you. And then what you do is, you strain it, you can use a double strain, like a tea sieve. So you got those little pieces of ice that you take out. You can leave them in, it depends. There we go. And then to finish it off, we just take a little cherry and a longer toothpick. I love to have two cherries. There we go, just add those, drop them into your glass. And there we go, there's your simple whiskey sour homemade. Enjoy, and remember, like the video, subscribe, share us, follow us, and I hope to see you soon on my next video coming up shortly. See you guys.